America, DJ Wonder Chrissy, back at it again. Incoming, incoming, DJ Wonder Chrissy for Land Cruiser Midwest, Migrant Mayhem folks, today is Sunday, March 24th. Let's get going. We got a great show for you. Got some awesome music to wake you up here in the morning. I hope you're ready. Hope you're ready. Yes, yes, yes. DJ Wonder Chrissy, and we're ready to go. Oh, oh. So we got a good show for you today, folks. It's uh, I think it's breaking news. Yeah, it's breaking news. news for you today okay so um probably about a month ago maybe it was two months ago there was a guy in chicago who um rehabbed and developed uh three flats and he had some open and he took in eventually 400 migrants he just took them in out of the goodness of his heart i guess he's a christian he's a crazy christian and uh, as you know we're all crazy in chicago so uh, we're gonna go to uh, am 560 where they did an interview with this guy and how things are going they did an update with him on how his uh, migrant housing is going and he gives an update about what's going on with the 450 migrants he's got in some of his buildings that he's paying for. It's kind of crazy what this guy's doing. But, hey, it's his money. It's his uh, his housing, so he can do what he wants. So let's check in and see what he's got to say. With, uh, uh, with the, the CO2 levels. Oh, a lot of people. About? Yes. All right, so with more on this, we're going to welcome back to the program Chris Amator. He is a Chicago property owner, and he... Is housing on his own. He's a crazy property owner. 448. Oh, wait. Now 400. Amy's a little. Good morning, Chris. How are you? Howdy. Good. How are you doing, Amy? Good. So uh, you had a baby, huh? Yeah, we had a baby, uh, <laughs> which was really great. We had the Chicago Relief Program. Uh, they helped us up. They have all the migrants that I'm housing in their system and they helped um you know get to the hospital have the baby and it, 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 it was really special you know uh, and uh, i'm sure taxpayers dime folks it sounds like one of the people in his housing had a baby the st christopher team and uh me and the chicago team were all there and it was it was, it was pretty cool so okay so how many people are you so is it, how is it going because you have 449 uh, migrants, illegals, whatever you want to call them, that are in your rental properties. Uh, is everything going smoothly so far? Uh, yeah, everything's going smooth, uh, pretty smoothly, and I would say. I mean, the, the only thing that's not is that <laughs> I'm not getting any money for it yet or anything, because uh, anyone... There you go, folks. The guy put himself out there, and now he's hanging. That came after uh, November 15th, doesn't qualify for any rental assistance, and then... Uh, also, anyone who came after July 15th doesn't qualify for any temporary uh, work visas. So I, I guess you could say everyone that, that I help is people that cannot be helped, you know. So it, and, there, and there were people that were literally on the street. Uh, like They were people that were in excess from being, getting into the shelters. And it was like two days before that, that uh, you know, cold snap we had in, uh, like, when it was like negative 14. So I kind of made like a you know, on the spot decision and, you know, maybe it wasn't the best decision, but it's the, it's the decision I made. And cause uh, I, I, mean, I don't care what reason you say, Amy, uh, I mean, I've heard it all, you know, I go to all like the city council meetings and everything and, and everyone has every reason, you know, but to me, there's not one reason why you should let a, a child sleep in the street and starve. Yeah. I don't care what the reason is. I mean, it's, I probably agree with you that all these immigrant, all these migrants shouldn't be here, but, what are we going to do about that? You know, I mean, I mean, send them back. Send them back. That's what you do with them. You know, I, both the bums out of office. 
People's lives in jeopardy. I mean, people die every day. They drown in the Rio Grande. And if they're not, you know, sex trafficking or raped along the way, it's not fair to them. Sorry, miss up on the board. Um, so what? I mean, the people that came here. What? What are you hearing from them? Are they grateful to you? Or they just think that they're entitled to all of this free stuff? No. The there is no entitlement, and, and to tell you the truth, they don't even want any of this free stuff. You know, I mean, like all they want to do is work. Like if they could. You guys believe what you want. I'll believe what I want, but uh, you got to see through some of this. Choose a, a, a condo with granite countertops for free, or a tent down by the river and a job. They'll take the tent down by the river and a job in a heartbeat. I'm telling you, a lot of people have it. I mean, obviously, there's always going to be a 5% of, of any group in the world, you know, that are going to be the ones that you said are pissing on, the, you know, people's backyard or breaking into a garage or something. I mean, you're going to get there. Uh, that, that, uh, those two activities there that he described are happening in Gage Park. And later on in this interview, he talks about what he's doing to uh, clean up Gage Park. And, uh, and um, he's basically paying... There's a lot of pushback going on right now in Gages Park because the illegals have taken over their rec center and they've destroyed the park with litter. Um, I don't know if you guys realize, but a lot of people in South America, they don't even know what a garbage can is. They're used to throwing stuff on the ground. That's part of their culture. Wherever, but you just can't stereotype the whole group of them just because some of them, which I know it's kind of hard because, you know, they're under the under the under the microscope and everything like that but uh, uh but no they're very grateful um you know like i had them all set up on insta cart where I, I i was sending them food and they all told me to stop you know like they have other ways to get food they're resourceful and and uh you know and uh with the not-for-profit company i started uh the saint christopher project you know i, I i'm employing 60 migrants right now that are, uh, I mean, they're not all full-time because, you know, I, I just started this, and uh, as of right now, I, I'm only one fun. There you go, an entrepreneur trying to make, take advantage of what the government has given him in low-cost labor. And everything, but, uh, but it, it, I mean, they work their tails off, and they're picking up garbage, you know, I mean, no one wants to do that job that currently lives in, in, in Chicago, not that I know of. You I know? pick up garbage and, all uh, the time on my block, all the time. And the sewer so cover is, is got leaves in it. I get out my shovel and I move it and bag it and get it out. But So they're picking it. All right, let's talk about yesterday because Gage Park, again, people complaining that they're you know, drinking, doing drugs, staying out late, disrespecting the neighborhood, all those cigarette buds, all that garbage. How many people did it take? And how many bags of garbage did you fill yesterday? Uh, yesterday we filled uh, a, uh, over 100 garbage bags. So about Just a little bit of garbage. 100 garbage bags. That was one dirty area. 100, I think it was like 120 about. Uh, but, you know, we did everything. We didn't just do the park. My new book, Keyboard Rich, how... Yeah, like, like if you go two blocks away from the park, we did all the alleys, the streets, and, and, and everything. Kind of like what you said, the areas that, if it was your house, that you would clean the front of it and stuff like that. So, I mean, a lot of that wasn't from the migrants, but we just cleaned it anyway because at City Hall meeting two days ago, that there was like probably 10 people from Gage Park that were there to complain about the shelter, which, and they have a very good reason to complain. Like we said, like there's a program for disabled people that they can't do now because the field house is being taken and all this. And I agree, the last place that migrants should be is in a field house in the neighborhood, you know, and, but like I said, uh, you know, uh, there's one thing that you can do is spread hate to, to make the situation worse, or you can have a solution, you know, and I, I'm trying to come up with a solution, you know, it, it, you know, and, and maybe the solution is some of them need to be sent back, you know, and, and if you can't find them jobs, if you can't find them places to live, yeah, I mean, this cannot stay forever. You know, yeah, you and, keep it in, still there, you know. Chris, I think it's admirable what you're doing, but I don't think it's hate. 
um, that Americans are expressing. I think it's frustration with our government that we've allowed 10 million people into our country, and some of them we don't even, and that's what we know, and, and, and they're basically, look at, we, we didn't have money for our own veteran homeless people, but somehow we, we found veterans this. veterans out right. of hotels in Massachusetts. Yes, but somehow in we found money. In homeless shelters in Massachusetts for migrants. Right, somehow, somehow we found money for, 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 for this situation. I, and I, listen, I, I can only imagine how much money you're losing um, by housing um, these illegal immigrants. I, I can only imagine. What, what, what's been the police calls for service at, at, at your, your properties? Has there been a lot of police um, activity? Oh, no. No, I mean, it's, also, our prop, our block is the cleanest on, in the whole neighborhood. Yeah. You know, because, you know, that's kind of a thing I have with them. Like, hey, if you're not paying rent, every morning you're out here cleaning the street because, you know, the neighbors are going to be at least happy they have the cleanest block on the, uh, you know, so oh, all, all, all 15 addresses, you know, and, and you know, and, and like I said, then they also get paid to go out, but they don't get paid for that, though. Well, but, what about, uh, okay, yesterday, did anybody from inside the shelter help clean up their mess that they made? Uh, yeah, we did get, uh, um, you know, uh, about five of them that were out there, they came in, they just helped for free of charge, and then I got three others that we were able to, uh, to get paid to help us for the day, but... There's about 400 in the shelter, and you've only got five to come out, clean up their own mess. Well, we didn't really structure it where we were, like, trying to get them, you know, like, we got there, started working right away, picked up 10,000 cigarette buds and all the, uh, all the trash in the field, and then we kind of broke it up into, like, four zones where we just cleaned all, all, the, all the neighborhood around there, just to relieve some of the tension, you know. Like, share, subscribe, folks, bring you more of this type of content. That I... I felt at the, you know, city hall meeting, um, and uh, but and also too, uh, Amy and Dan, uh, uh, we have a a, a real cool program too. Uh, where if you go on our uh, uh, X or Twitter account, you could go to our pinned uh, uh, post and you could put a picture of anywhere in the city of Chicago and an address. And so all you gotta do is post a picture and an address, and the St. Christopher Project will clean that area. So if there's like a really like annoying, why don't you guys send some pictures from Venezuela on that website, and maybe they'll send them to Venezuela to clean it up and leave them there. Listen, Just an idea. I work every day, and you constantly see this vacant lot that's like covered with garbage. Put a picture and an address on there, and then we'll reply to that with a picture of it clean. Okay. And what's, uh, what is the what's the Twitter handle or the X handle? Yeah, that's uh, uh, at St. Chris Project, so like uh, S.T. Chris Project. Uh, so if, if you go on that, you could uh, post a, a, a picture of that. So it's kind of a good way to get the community involved and, and also, to, you know, kind of, I always call it, you know, the migrant opportunity. I mean, I understand it's a migrant crisis, but, uh, you know, I'm just trying to, like, and, and everything you say are, are, are great points and everything, but... Like I said, all I see is the city of Chicago. I mean, I work on the south, uh, the south and west side every single day. I'm on the street, and and, and literally, kind of like what you said, Dan, is that, uh, or if it was Amy who said it, I forget. Uh, you know, when you say about like uh, the uh, the actual, uh, uh, like we were saying about the people in, in Massachusetts yeah. and everything like that. But I mean, there's really nothing we could we could do about that, and like. But like, th there was a perfect example. I was in an alderman's office, and I was waiting to see the alderman. And, and while I was waiting, I, I heard a homeless person that was in there talking with the alderman, having a cup of coffee, discussing his options. You know, I, I would say he was experiencing homelessness. He was also a veteran, too. But, you know, I mean, my brother is a veteran. He went to Iraq. I'm a huge veteran supporter. I'm not trying to say anything about that. But the fact of the matter is, he was able to go in and talk to an alderman and have a cup of coffee in a nice warm room and discuss his options of homelessness and, and what program does he want to pick. Right. Now put yourself in a migrant's shoes, they have nothing. And no alderman would even open the door to them. They can come in there and talk to them. Hey, 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 Chris, for, um, two things. First of all, my name is John. I'm not Dan. I'm better looking. He might be smarter, but I'm better looking. He's feeling it. You're right. And, 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 don't and forget, you have a better disposition. Right. And don't forget, they're not homeless. They're unhoused, right? And oh, that's that right. You got to get the... They're legal. illegals. Right. All right, Chris, um, thank you so much for joining us. If you guys have a dirty lot anywhere, 
uh, go to at St. Chris and take a picture and send it to him with an address. Got a text message. Amy, send him a picture of City Hall. There's plenty of garbage in there. hey -o. Hello. Right, Chris, thank you so much, and uh, we'll have you back. There you go. That was Chris Amator on uh, AM560, The Answer. With Amy Jacobson and Black and Right AM. So, um... There you go. This guy was foolish enough to utilize or open some of his buildings that he has on the south side of Chicago to 450 illegals. Go figure. Go figure. Uh, we didn't get any monetary losses. He's trying to make uh, apple applesauce out of apples or lemonade out of lemons. And uh, we'll see what... Uh, what happens there as we move forward it sounds like a lot of these people that are coming um, they've got no hope of a job they got no hope of um, funding from the government but I got a feeling got a feeling there's uh, back doors to everything especially when you're dealing with government such as maybe <coughs> getting grants from places like the Salvation Army or local churches who are getting grants from our state and federal government and FEMA, right? They just passed a bill, $1.2 trillion. So FEMA's flush with money now. So now they can start funding the illegals a little bit more. And um, hope you enjoyed the show here, guys. I'm going to end it a little early today. Hope you enjoyed the goofy glass can collection i brought out today just to give you guys a little bit of fun so get your own goofy glasses at amazon if you want they're like eight nine bucks uh i am dj wonder chrissy this is migrant mayhem we're bringing you all the all the news about the illegals the newcomers the border buddies and it's land cruiser midwest like share and subscribe it helps us with the algorithm and this is dj wonder chrissy over and out